Hello, I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming out for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with, well, we got the Ace of Wands and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this Ace of Wands, it's about new beginnings. Yeah, whenever you see the word ace in the tarot that indicates some type of new beginning now this one it could be in the area of accomplishments you could be um it could be related to work or career or family or romance it can also be about passion a new beginning towards Something that you're passionate about, or there's passion in this new beginning. Now, because it's with the Knight of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass, this is telling me that you got with someone, or you were dealing with someone that um, was a very practical type of person. Um, this person could have been really good with money. Maybe they were a businessman or a business businesswoman. Knight of Pentacles is a very good card in the tarot. It can be about stability. It can be about something solid and stable. So yeah, you felt like you were dealing with someone that was that was maybe solid, stable. Um very practical type, good with money, and they could have wanted a new beginning with you, or you wanted one with them, and yeah, this person might have also been um, slow and steady type of person, but there was some type of new beginning here. That's the reason past energy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Page of Cups, and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Page of Cups, with this card, it can be about playing. It can be about dreaming and having fun. Now, it can be about happy surprises also. So, it's with this Queen of Wands, which is a very uh, determined type of energy, very confident so what this is telling me is that Capricorn is telling me that um, you could be um, knowing that your person is going to reach out to you or you could be reaching out to this person and um, you're just feeling confident about the connection. Yeah, coming up you're feeling confident about your person and the connection or they could be feeling confident about you the roles can be switched yes they can be reversed when we get these readings um, but for some of you you're expecting your person to reach out to you because the page of cups can be a message coming in and they're feeling confident about you that's what I'm getting for the most part and that they'll be reaching out to you because, yeah, we do have this special holiday coming up. Valentine's Day. So, you can be expecting some type of playful energy between you and your person coming up. Yeah. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So, we got the Eight of Swords, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Eight of Swords can be about just being in your head overthinking things and it's with the will of fortune now when you get the will of fortune that's a card that's below the word challenge it's actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times whether it's bad times it passes so if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world keep your perspective 
as that too, like everything else, changes. So you have to live in the now. Count your blessings and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Just roll with the changes and think positive. So, Capricorn, you kind of go back and forth in your head about this person. They're determined about you because Queen of Wands is about being determined. And they could be reaching out to you to talk, have some fun. Um, it's a very playful energy, this Page of Cups. But you, you're, you're stuck in your head, though. You go back and forth between maybe holding yourself back, not going forward with, with this connection, because the Eight of Swords, the card that's, below, that's above the word challenge, it can be about fear of moving into the future or just having fear of getting hurt by a situation or just maybe for no reason at all. So you go back and forth between being this Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about um, feeling like you have luck or it's about good luck. So... Your challenge is that you're overthinking, Capricorn, about this person that, that's stable, or they're appearing to be stable. You go back and forth between wanting to just hold back or hold off on this connection, and then you go back to feeling that you could have a lot of luck with this person. Yeah. I don't know if it's because the Knight of Pentacles is a very successful type of energy. I don't know if it's because they, they're good with their money. Or you feel like this person is stable. But something about them makes you want to just hold back and not move forward with them. Yeah, and then you feel, on some other days, you feel like um, you're going to have good luck with this person. Yeah, you feel lucky to know this person. So you go back and forth. Maybe you don't see this person as your your normal pick. Maybe they're not your usual type. But anyways, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this Queen of Cups and it's with the Two of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Cups is a very loving energy. It's nurturing, it's healing and supportive. And it's with this Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can be about maybe two main issues at front in your mind. So it could be about needing to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because when you get the Two of Pentacles multitasking, it's not your friend. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. So, the, the outcome, Capricorn, is that, um, yeah, this person um, that you're dealing with, that you feel like you, you, wanted, you wanted a new beginning with, or you got a new beginning with this Knight of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass. Like I said, they're, they're, it's a good energy slow, stable, steady type of person, um, good with your money. They could be um, um, very successful. And I did say, I call it the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. I hope I didn't say something else. But anyway, the outcome is showing that you feel like this person might just be all about their money. Yeah, because they probably... Coming across is really busy because the Two of Pentacles is here for the outcome. So you're getting the impression that this person might start to make you feel like they're having trouble finding time and energy for you or the connection. Yeah, but the Queen of Cups is here. So it's just telling me that you feel like you... 
think you shouldn't give to this emotionally. The Queen of Cups does give emotionally, but because it's, it's with this um, Two of Pentacles, that could be why you're holding back. Two of Pentacles is here. You feel like this person, like I said, is probably all about the money. Making money and they're always busy. You feel like they, they're all over the place. They do this, they do that. And it's because, for the most part, for a lot of you, this person is is trying to make money. And it just makes you feel like the connection is not a priority. But just know, because the Queen of Cups is here, um, yeah, you're starting to feel like you just don't want to give to this emotionally. Because you think this person is not going to make you a priority. And that, that could be why you're holding back here. That's why you go back and forth between feeling like, like you're lucky to have this connection and then you go back again to just feeling like you need to hold back. But yeah, Knight of Pentacles is a good energy. Yeah, for some of you, you could feel like this person is too slow for you. Nine of Pentacles is a very slow type of energy. Yeah, so I don't know if this person is a lot older than you and they're just practical. They know, for some of you, they, they're good with balancing things, but they, they're they always busy. Yeah, so that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning... You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, keep in mind the other person or people can be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because once again, these are general readings. Yes, they are general. They are not personal readings. So... Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.